A quick disclaimer, you should know that this tutorial is for a third-party asset. That means that it has Playmaker integration, but its functionality and stability is not completely reliant on Playmaker. These tools have bugs of their own, and so you should always first consult with the developer of that tool first. Also, there may be links in the description for fixes. Hello, and welcome to the Final IK Interaction with Playmaker tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna be learning how to use Final IK's interaction system with their native Playmaker actions to make this NPC reach over and tap something, and to make this character reach over and pick something up. So, first thing that we're gonna do is just take a look at this scene really quick. Right now I have this NPC that has an animator component on it, and it has this full body biped IK component on it. If you hit play, you'll see that right now there's just a little idle animation that's playing. It's very subtle, just breathing, just a little bit of movement. Now, what I wanna do is just add a new component called interaction system, okay? This is a final IK component that we'll be using to interact with other objects in the world. Next, I'm going to add in a 3D object and I'm adding this object as a child of our NPC just so it puts it right in front of them. I'm gonna make a sphere, okay? And now I'm just gonna drag it out and I'll put it over here right in front of them and shrink it down a little bit. And we're just gonna say that they're gonna reach out for this sphere. Now on this sphere, I'm gonna add a component called interaction object. So objects that your characters interact with, whether it's a player or an NPC, the objects require this interaction object component from Final IK. So the main two things that we're gonna be playing with today are in the weight curves and in the events. So first over here in the weight curves, I'm going to add one. You can either put in the number of weight curves you want, like one, or you could have also just hit this little plus button. And we're gonna be using the position weight. Now in the curve, I click on this, brings up this graph editor. I'm gonna hit this linear line, and you'll see that it puts it across at one. Now, if halfway at the 0.5 mark, if I add a little point in here by double clicking, I can now select these two on the sides by holding shift, you could select multiple, and I can bring them down to zero. Okay, now what this curve is, is the curve of the position weight intensity. So at zero, the amount of influence our final IK interaction system has is zero. That means it's just the animation that is taking full control. And in the animation, our character has their hands at the sides. In fact, all of their limbs are susceptible to influence from this interaction object. So that means your feet, your head, whatever it is. But here at the start, it's at zero. Now, as this curve goes up to one, the influence of this interaction system will go up to one as well. So anything interacting with this interaction object is going to be listening to this curve and whatever limb we specify will move towards it. So once it hits one, the interaction system is fully taking control and if it was set to our left hand, it'll reach out and grab it and then it'll come back down to zero, which means that it'll return back to its animation. That's what this curve does. Okay, so I'm gonna close this. Now on our NPC, I'm going to add an FSM. And we're gonna call this just interaction test. Okay, and in the first state, this is just an initialization state. And then we're gonna add a couple of events here. I'm just gonna say on and off. Now in my project, these were global events already, so you might not see these checkboxes. That doesn't matter because honestly, we're just setting this up with global transitions on and off for the test's sake because all that's really happening is we're gonna be putting in some actions on these states, just single actions. The actions that we're gonna want are called interaction. We have a start interaction, stop interaction, pause interaction, and resume interaction. The first one we're gonna put in here on the on state is a start interaction. And then in the off state, we'll have a stop interaction. Okay, so hopefully you could see that using this on and off global transition and sending off to these separate states is just for the example and the way you put these actions in your own FSMs could be any number of ways. You know, you could have a state that goes off to another state, you know, having it start here. And then if it did like a wait, it waited a while before finally deciding to stop the interaction, you know, and you could have had it go here from your initialization state. Okay, so this is up to you. But for this example, I just wanna show you how these work using these global transitions, make it a little easier on us. So the first thing that we're gonna do is call this state start 
interaction. Okay, and the second one, we'll call it stop interaction. Now on the start interaction, it says game object requires root motion final IK interaction object component. That's because this interaction object should not be the owner. In fact, we'll specify the game object and drag and drop our sphere in because that's the object that has the interaction object component. Okay, so back here on an NPC, this is looking good now. And we have one more value to fill in, okay? Because our interaction system is saying use owner and that's our NPC. That's the interaction system here. The effector types, I'm gonna add one in and the element that I'm gonna choose will be our left hand. Okay, so that's saying that it's the left hand that'll be moving towards this object. So really quick, what I'm gonna do is hop over to events and I'm just gonna add these in the inspector so we could run some tests on them. Okay, that just put those events over here so I can click on them and it'll send these events. Like I said, these global transitions are just for demonstrating how the interaction actions work. That's, that's a mouthful, interaction action. Okay, so I'm gonna play this, nothing's happening. I come over here, I'm gonna hit this on event and we'll see, they go in and they grab it. And you can see that they go in and then they put their hand back. What that is, is on the curve we were looking at earlier, it's starting at zero, going up to one and then coming back down to zero. So it's zero, one, zero one zero just like that okay so i'm gonna stop this and just to show you how these effectors work let's say we put in two values and we're gonna have our left hand and our right hand so if i play this now and i hit this again it's both hands that go in for it okay it's gonna change this back to one now over here on the object you could add in events now i'm gonna add an event by hitting this little plus button and we have some options here. The one I'm gonna choose is pause. And what this will do, it'll pause the interaction at a certain point in this curve. So, so for example, our curve takes one second. If we click on this, right? We have the intensity of the weight as well as the duration that it takes to get to these points. So that means that we're gonna be one second. On time for this event to pause, I'm gonna say it'll be at 0.5. Okay, so that'll be at the halfway point right here in the curve. So that'll be right when our hand is on top of it, it's gonna pause it, okay? So let's see that happen. I'm just gonna select our NPC, press play, and I'm gonna hit this on. And you'll see that our hand stays there now. Now we have this separate event here for off where we put our stop interaction, but nothing is set up there. So if I hit off, nothing quite happens. I'm gonna stop this. And in our off, I'm going to say one value. It's going to be changing our left hand by stopping it. Okay, hit play. So now we have on. And then if I hit off, it stops. And this is how you can have full control over when your character is reaching for something and stops reaching for something. Next up, we're going to check out this pickup option. So I'm going to unselect pause. And we're going to say that it picks it up. Okay, we'll just play that. That's a simple, just checking a box. And on our NPC, I'm gonna say on, and you'll see they grabbed it. It got parented to their hand. You'll see that over here in the hierarchy, the sphere isn't there anymore. If I come down here into the left hand, there it is. The sphere is now a child of the left hand. Now I'm gonna stop this. You could do some combination of the two as well. I could pause and pick up here. If I select my NPC and hit play, now when I hit on, grabs it, and you'll see that our sphere got parented, but he hasn't moved back now. And if I hit off, he brings his hand back, but still has the sphere parented. And that's how you can use the start interaction and stop interaction actions for Final IK's interaction system components. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn all the various features of Playmaker. Links to more learning resources are in the description.